We start with the position of the feet. How to keep your feet in relation to the basket from a right-handed player's perspective. If you are left-handed, just do the opposite. That's an awful shot. You should have your feet to the basket, but you can tilt your feet a little bit to the left or have them straight 12 o'clock. You can see Curry, he has his feet a little bit to the left. The feet are tilted at 11 o'clock. Now, Lillard and Young they sometimes have their feet at 11.30. They're a little bit more straight. Simons, out to Lillard, defense got off track, and that opens up the... Out there, man. Oh, logo man strikes again. Bam has got to be sent himself. Now, you can see his feet are tilted a little bit to the left. The right foot is a little bit in front of the, of the left. This is the correct starting position. However, here you can see the feet are more towards the rim. But it's also a correct position. The right foot is a little bit in front of the left. The feet should be around shoulder wide. And you should bend your, bend your knees so you have the body balance. Sometimes you can see in the games that Curry and Lillard, they start at one position and when they land, they maybe have their feet at 10 o'clock, a little bit more to the left. But the most important thing is that you find the position that feels most comfortable for you. So now we take a look into how to hold the ball. While turning, it, this would not be correct. It should be like the letter T when you turn to the side. Also, the ball should not be leaning, to, should not be too much on the palm. There should be a little gap between here. Correct? Wrong. This will all also be wrong, having the ball too much on the fingers. Leaning on the palm just a little bit, not too much. There should be a little bit gap there. And when you're holding the ball, the fingers should have some tension. They should not be too loose, not too flappy. So you're holding the ball with control, like this, close to the body, boom, and then the release. Now Curry has his index finger, right in the center of the ball. Now, we're all got different body shapes, so to hold the center of the ball in between the index finger and the middle finger is okay. If you hold like this, this is not correct. And if you hold the ball like this, this is also incorrect. So, in between here. Now, when you're playing, you can of course not do this. You will just hold the ball and you, your muscle memory will just hold the ball like you used to do. Okay, this is wrong. You should not catch the ball like this as a shooter. Look, I'm not, I, I'm not shooting like this, so I shouldn't catch the ball like this. Again, this is also wrong. Look, I'm standing straight. I'm not shooting like this. I shouldn't catch the ball like this. Again, okay, I'm ready to shoot. I'm square to the, to the basket. I hold the ball, ready to shoot. This is the triple threat position for any shooter. I can dribble the ball, I can pass the ball, and of course, I'm ready to shoot the ball really quick. And this is very important. So when you catch the ball, you catch it and you're ready to shoot. Your feet ready, starting position. Now you're shooting, you want it to be the same every time. Now when you start to shoot, you're behind the ball. If your elbow touches your body in the start, it, your shot will always start in the same way. What a special life. And he's coming up at halftime. Curry, plenty of time, hits a three. He's not dream on dream, but developing yes. right there. Boy, some depth on this one, Nick. 31 feet for Trey Young. You're getting to be a little routine. You know, you come to expect it. But sometimes, when you catch the ball from the side, it will just take time to, to have your elbow to the body. So it will be quicker just catching the ball and then go straight up. And of course, you're gonna do what's the quickest option. So here, I catch it. Okay, I have my elbow to the body. 
and I'm straight up ready to shoot. Sometimes I get it from the side, from here I'm just gonna go straight up. So you get the ball ready to shoot, ball close to the body. Why should the ball be close to the body? When the ball is close to the body, you have more power and you have more control of the ball. So in the shooting motion, don't have your ball away from you. It could easily be slapped away from the defender. Having it closer to you is harder for the def defense to block you. This is how you catch the ball as a shooter. Look how I catch the ball. Ready to shoot in the shooting position. Trey Young, he will release from here, right above his shoulder, getting a lot of power shooting from here. The ball will actually cover his right eye a little bit, but it goes so quick by and still having control of the shot and now the follow through. So cover eye is not an issue. So this is so new. So if I would have a player before doing this, I would probably teach him to take the shot up and shoot from here. If you have a young player shooting from here very well, like young, then maybe you should let him keep shooting from there. Normally the release point will be here, around the eyebrow and forehead. The ball almost touches your forehead and then you follow through. And here is the release point of Lillard and Curry. Boom, boom, boom. And Kelly, he's come off a 34 point game Saturday. That has been a change in direction for him. Now, there's also higher release points. Like you can see Kawhi Leonard is shooting from here. And he's a very good mid-range shooter. And we will not go through that today. Now we focus on the release of Curry, Lillard and Young and long distance shooting. This is how I like children to shoot the ball, from here. And even if you come to women professional league, when the three-point shot is released, this is good. Uh, I had a pro player who, shoot, who shot the three-point shots from here, coming into the paint, having a higher release from here, in the paint. Now a release point that I don't want you to do. You have the ball close to the body, you take it up, you take it up to your forehead and you follow through from here. That's what I like you to do. That will make, make it easier for, one, for a one motion shot, for a quick release. But don't take it up above your head like this. It's very hard to shoot quick in one motion like this. So here, forward, not over here and then forward. That will pause your shot and make it slower. Now this is correct, having the ball in the middle or here. Somewhere here is okay. But if you do take the ball over here, that's incorrect. From here it's hard to shoot in a straight line and you have to correct your shot. Lance Ball does this, but I don't recommend it. And he's not a great shooter. So take the ball up here, middle and out here. The guide hand, don't follow up. It's just guide hand. And you follow through. The wrist is back, I hold the ball, correct. So when I follow through, working with my wrist, I also will get the backspin on the shot. You follow through as much as you can. The arm is 
totally extended and new wrist also. But sometimes in the, in the game, you see the shots like this. It's, it's not 100% extended, but this is a good follow through. You see, I got a li little bit left here in the wrist. So there's some variation depending on how you feel playing the game. But when you follow through, you have to come to here or here. This is not okay. This is not okay. You have to come to here. Follow through all the way or leave just a little bit room left. I'm looking for just the follow through in 45 degrees, but sometimes a little bit higher. So somewhere here is correct. A follow through like this is wrong. And a follow through like this is wrong. Look for 45 degrees. And when you follow through, you follow through as much as you can. And with my fingers, I direct the ball into the, into the basket. Look, I have my index finger to the basket. Fully extended, fully down. My fingers are spread a little bit. And I'm thinking like my index finger is in the basket. Now, when you're shooting also, you can have your middle finger pointing to the basket, thinking it is going into the basket. So it's either those two fingers that's pointed to the rim. Now, when should you use the backboard? Coming here close to, in 45 degrees, close to the rim, you use the backboard. Coming up here, you're still using the backboard. A little bit further out here, sometimes you can use the backboard. But when you move out, up to here to three point distance, Normally, I don't recommend you to use the backboard. And from straight, don't use the backboard. Only in 45 degrees, but not all the way out to the three-point line. Now, the key to get a really quick shot, like Curry, Lillard and Young, is to have a one-motion shot. As you catch the ball, you are ready to shoot. You move the ball up. As you reach the release point, you just follow through here. There's no pause. We are about the same height. Even though I would jump, the defender could still easily block me. Imagine that the defender could be five inches taller. So the key is not to shoot on my highest point. If I do, I lose power in my shot motion, so I cannot shoot from the same distance. So the key is to get some separation and then shoot on my way up before the defender gets to me.